bring me. I began to think about this passage of scripture, and God said, Be still and look around. God, I, I can't be still and look around. There's too much to do. There, there's, I, this life doesn't work in a be still mode. But guess what? God gave us senses. God gave us the ability to multitask. God gave us eyes and, and fingers and, and nerve endings and, and the hairs on our arms can sense things. We can do more than one thing. So as I'm driving through traffic, I can appreciate the cool weather. I can see a flower on the side of the road. I can hear my favorite Christian song come on the radio that brings a smile. I, I, thank you, God, I needed that. I can be still, even in the craziness of my day, and see that my God's at work. I can do more than one thing. As busy as I have to be, there's a part of me that can calm down and appreciate the fact that he's getting me through this day. I can be still. Verse 8 reads, Come behold the works of the Lord who has made desolations of the earth. Verse 9 says, He makes wars cease to the end of the earth. He breaks the bow and cuts the spear in two. He burns the chariot of fire. Refuge is ours. They're looking for, for a break, for a moment of stillness in their lives. And, and God says, you can have the refuge that you need in this crazy world that you're in. You can go through the fast-paced aspects of life, which we all have to be a part of if you're going to succeed and pay your bills and all these things. But you can be still in your mind, in your spirit, and find a sense of peace in the midst of a storm. It is possible it is there. Ever had your family or your loved ones freaking out about a situation, and somehow, some way, you still find a sense of peace. I can look back to a, a big turning point in our lives when, with the hurricane, and it seemed like God had been preparing me for that moment where I had to hold the whole family together. And I couldn't be the one to break down yet. So I sucked it up, and in the midst of that storm, with all the emotions, all the feelings, all the stuff going on with 15, 20 people who just lost everything in their lives, I had to be the rock that said, this is where we are, and this is where we have to go. And we got there, then I could fall apart a little bit. But there are these times where I found refuge in the storm. What did I have to do? I had to be still to find that refuge. I had to calm down parts of me that wanted to freak out. But God provided. Let's look at verse 10 and 11. It says, Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. So here is Jerusalem, the city, the Israelis. The world is shaken, the ground's trembling, the waters are rising, they're in trouble. God is there. They begin to see him. Maybe perhaps their eyes begin to open to the fact that they were never alone or abandoned to begin with. God is there in their midst. He, he takes the situation that is before him. He utters his voice. And everything calms down. He says, behold, look around you. Look at, look at all the stuff that's around you. Open your eyes to the fact that I'm here with you. And then he says, just, he's probably, you know, maybe a little frustrated. He says, be still. 
Sometimes, you ever had a kid that won't be still? <laughs> Just picking and touching, and, or a husband, or a wife, or a, a co-worker who, who's just kind of always bouncing around and it, and it be, can become kind of an irritation almost. <laughs> be still, you say. Yes. Can you be still for, can you give me one minute? <laughs> so God saying to the Israelites, be still and know that I am God. I'm here. Got it handled. Be still. There is a God. <clears throat> well, being still is hard. Being still is difficult. Being still is not an easy thing for us. But I think many times we do have to recognize and understand that there is a God. He is with us. He's been with us from the very beginning. And He is there at all times. And then I love this last passage of scripture here it says verse 11 says the lord of hosts is with us the god of jacob is our refuge and i begin to think about that those those, those two words with us be still god is with you i think a lot of times we have to share this with other people that you can take comfort even as the world turns. That you can, you might not know exactly what God has for you or where you're going to be next week or what my purpose is or who am I supposed to reach on this earth, but you can take comfort and to know that God is with you. He is pressing for you. Sometimes we can get so aggravated and so busy and so determined to become all that I can be that we miss the subtle move of God. That we miss the pleasure of seeing Him work in our lives. We got to slow ourselves down sometimes. We have to... And that doesn't mean you got to stop work and do all these different things. That means you got to slow your mind down sometimes from racing. That means you got to take a moment every once in a while and not go to this church meeting or to, to do that or whatever it is and say, you know, I'm going to sit home today and I'm going to get the sleep that I need and I'm going to relax my mind and relax my body and I'm going to thank God for it. I'm going to be still today. Oh, to be still, wouldn't that be great? To be able to do that whenever you needed to. Oh, to be still. And, and when the kids are going nuts and say, hey, all right, everybody, let's be still for 10 minutes. And everybody sat down and was still. Or your boss is over your shoulder breathing down your neck. You got to get this done. You got, Oh, boss, can you just be still for five minutes? That would be a wonderful thing. It would be great that we can. But God gives us the ability to do that in our minds and in our spirits. We can, in a sense, tune out the madness, thanks to God, and grasp hold of His peace, His grace, His mercy. This stillness in which God speaks of here in this passage of Scripture is within our grasp. We just have to realize that it's there. I mean, I know when someone, I know some people here, when someone's talking to you, you can block them out pretty good. And you don't really, you just kind of nod your head and shake your head and pretend like you hear it, you know. You can do that. And God's given us the ability to do that spiritually as well, though. To take the madness of this world and turn it off so that we can hear His voice, so that we can see His beauty, so that we can see His works, so that we can understand that in this upside-down world, there is a God that is what? Very present. In my life. Not there on occasion. Not showing up. Only when the pastor says. It's okay for God to come into my church. No. My God is very present. In all the things that I do in my life. My God's there when I'm sleeping. Watching over me. Making sure I'm breathing. And doing these things right. When I forget to buckle my seatbelt, my God's there with legions of angels tapping me on the shoulder, reminding me that, Joel, you got to take things right. 
My God is very present in the stillness of my mind. So as we go out this week into this nutty, crazy, very busy world that is turned upside down and dangerous and many people are hurt and being hurt, just remember that there is a stillness that we can have that only God can bring. There is a comfort that we can have even when we feel the pain for the others in this world that are hurting. There is a stillness that God has provided for us. So when the kids are going nuts, when the workplace is crazy, find those brief moments when you can just kind of switch it off and grab a moment to be still. Dear Lord, we come before you today and we thank you that you have given us this amazing gift. May we use it to glorify you. May we use it to, to recharge our batteries, Lord. May we be still when we feel we should run. May we be still when we feel we need to yell and scream. May we slow down and grasp a hold of your grace, your mercy, your forgiveness, your touch. Lord, I thank you that this week the madness will not overwhelm us, but your peace will run through us. The streams shall be made glad that run through our body and through our mind. And Lord, that we may be still in you. In Jesus' name I pray. Hi.